Yo, 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 thank you so much for tuning into Conversations with Glow Radio Show, sponsored by Conversations with Glow Podcast. And y'all already know, and if you don't know by now, that is Conversations with a K. If you want to know more about me and also the future guests that I will have on Conversations with Glow Radio Show, please visit the website and sign up for the emailing list at convowithglow.com. And again, that's with the K and not with the C. Okay. And you already know, you know, I always say it's not just, it's not just questions. It's, it's a conversation though. I do, <clears throat> excuse me, though. I do ask questions, but again, these questions become conversation. Okay. So if you went with the program already, please get with it. And make sure that you do head over to ConvoWithGlow.com to sign up for the emailing list. Okay? Okay. But anyway, I do have a guest with me. Y'all already had heard him before, but he's back again. And we got another conversation for y'all. I'm going to allow for him to introduce himself. And then y'all already know what we're going to do. Get into the conversation. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Tim, host of the Real Talk with Tim podcast. You can find me on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, or iHeartRadio. You can also find me on Twitter at RTWT Podcast and YouTube as well, Real Talk with Tim Podcast. Um, oh, I'm sorry, TikTok as well. TikTok as well, Real Talk with Tim Podcast. Um, my my podcast originally um, was about love, life, and relationships only. Um, right now I'm in season six. Season six is about to come up to its season finale. I immediately already started working on season seven. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, love, life, and relationships is what I'm talking about, but I'm honestly about to start doing other things as well, like reactions and reviews and stuff like that. So just look forward to that. The YouTube channel, although that although I'm in season six, the YouTube channel. I'm about to start posting uh, <laughs> from season seven. So, like, I, I've been talking about YouTube and all that for a long time. Unfortunately, I wasn't posting before season seven. But y'all going to see season seven is going to be, is that's what we're going to pick up at. Oh, so we get to see your handsome face. All right. Most definitely. <laughs> most definitely. Most definitely. <laughs> season seven, we gonna, y'all going to see, man. We're going we gonna to do something big. Okay, okay, okay. So y'all heard what Tim said. So make sure that y'all do go and follow him. But let's go ahead and get into the conversation. And the conversation tonight is basically I do want to focus like on the men. Um, and being that there's a man on here, um, my question, well, the conversation <laughs> is do you um do you try to understand a woman's body language during a conversation in or during sex well absolutely right now at this point in my life but i can tell you that in the beginning absolutely not because let me tell you a story okay i, I was, like story time so listen when i was i think i was about 15 i was like i'm 36 right now but when i was 15 years old I, and that's when I started having that's when I started having sex and shit. So from so from 15 years old all the way up until some point I, that I can't remember. But originally when I first started having sex, I was having sex just for me. And when I say just for me, is, I know what you mean. I, I mean what I mean by that is when I used to have sex for me, I used to only only worry about my nut. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So like when I go in there, I'm I'm having intercourse, I'm stroking, I'm stroking or whatever. I'm stroking to get my nut. But the 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 thing is, I had sex with this one girl and we had sex like twice. But by the second time, she she pulled me to the side. She 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 let me have it. She was like, you know, I'm starting to think you only had sex just to get your nut. Why you don't wait until I get mine's and then you can worry about yours. So when she said that, think about that. That's 15 years old. That shit stuck with me until my, probably like my 20s. Because even through the whole teenage years, Hold I was still wait. doing the same time thing. Out. Time out. She told you this when you was 15? When I was 15. <laughs> when I was 15. 
Okay, so let me let me do play by play with you real quick. Okay. I'm with a girl. We kissing. We touching. You know what I'm saying? I get hard. She wet. I put it in. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm. I start to stroke, but I'm stroking. You know, only thinking about my like a, like a jack rabbit. Let's just say. Let's just say after after a few minutes, I get my nut. Right. Mm-hmm. And she don't get hers. Now I can only imagine for a woman that that's disappointing as hell. Very. Because you was very turned on, and here you are getting penetrated. This dude get his, and he's done, and you still want more, but he can't give you more because he came. So anyway, she told me that, so it stuck with me for like a long time until. It started to click on me because at, a, at another point in my life, I had sex with another girl and she she caught an attitude after we finished. She didn't say nothing, but I already knew what the deal was because I already got pulled to the side about this shit before. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But she didn't say nothing. So I did a whole lot of self-reflection. I said, damn, I think I got to switch some shit up. I got to, I got to, I got to, uh, last longer i have to like i gotta do something to stay in the game so then it got to a point where i was having sex with women and i started to they started you know getting a little orgasm and shit and they started coming a lot and before i even came so at that point i knew i was the man because i you know i finally found my rhythm so that's that's so i would say to your question Right now, at this point in my life, I know it's very important to for I know it's very important for a woman to get hers. Apps automatically. If a woman don't get hers, it, it, the sex wasn't good. I mean, it was good, but like they still ain't get theirs. They want some more. You know how some women and I know. Let me. Let me. I ain't gonna ask you this question yet. I ask you this question. Yet, I was gonna say, say you can ask me whatever. So listen. So, so listen. I have came across women who. After after I've had sex with them, they still will masturbate afterwards. I've done that, and it only happened a few times with me. And for the and I used to think that I used to think that like, damn, my sex wasn't good or something. And then and then I started. Then I was like, nah, that can't be it because of how she was receiving it. But now I'm like, damn, she probably ain't get her nut, or she probably. Uh, was about to get one off, but couldn't get off because I got mine and I was done. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so, but I, but I wanted to ask you, is that what that mean? Like, yeah. it don't necessarily mean it the sex is, bad. It, it just means that you ain't get your fucking nut, right? Yeah, that's that's exactly what it means. But I mean, if I get my nut, I just consider that to be bad. So, ah, uh, now we got to <laughs> now we gotta go to something else real quick. <laughs> Hold I'm up. just saying because it's not fair to me because I understand that you're sitting up here and you putting in all this work, like you said. You put in all this work, but you put in all this work, but you ain't like I said, you probably didn't even catch on to her body language. Yeah, you didn't catch on because you're used to your rhythm and how right. you know you get ready to go in there and smash. Right. All women don't like to be fucked the same way. And that's something that's my that problem. And that <laughs> is your fucking problem. Boom. <laughs> like for real. That's like my problem right there. That's that's definitely your problem because it's done been times where I've I've done it myself. And he'll be like, Well, damn, you know, you didn't get your nut. I'll be like, no. And I and but what would happen though is he would help me, he would help me finish. He wouldn't just stand right there and just watch me do it. He would help me, but I'd be thinking in the back of my head, like, you know, you you could have did this with penetration. Now, here's the thing. If I get my name in the first place in regards with oral, I'm okay if you go ahead and finish right. with you. But if I didn't get no oral and I didn't come off no oral. So then I am expecting for me to come off penetration. It's been a long time. Hold on. It's done been a long time since I I 
it used to be like, dang, like I I could never really just come off penetration. Like I you did never what? oral. I could never just really come off penetration. What? Yeah. So I needed um so I needed, you know what I'm saying, oral of hers. So therefore I know for sure that I'm gonna get me and I'm not gonna be mad at you for you getting you and, and I didn't get me. You get what I'm saying? So, so- so yeah. let's let, so, so let's let me I, I have to really I have to know this. I have to know this. So y'all, you mean to tell me <laughs> if you getting fucked so good, let's just say a dude lasts five minutes. Let, let, let's just say this. Let's just let's just say it five minutes. I know I know the time limit. It, it's okay. But listen, <laughs> let's, just say, let's just say a dude was fucking you so good for five minutes minutes i'm talking about penetration deep penetration all that shit if he come fast and you didn't come yet afterwards would you say the sex was bad or would you just be mad that damn i didn't come yet would you call would you consider that bad sex i wouldn't i know like i said it's a, i wouldn't i wouldn't necessarily just consider it to be bad I would just be upset at the fact that I didn't get my nut. And then, so if I'm talking to my homegirl, like, yeah, girl, it was good, but I didn't nut. She would be like, so how was it good if you didn't nut? <laughs> but the, the dick can, excuse my language, um, <laughs> the, the sex can be bomb, but some women don't look at that being good unless they came. Now, like I said, me on the other end, I would consider that to it. I guess it depends because if you gave me five minutes of nothing, it's bad. But if you gave me five minutes that oh, I'm just like oh, oh like oh my gosh, I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Then, then yeah, then I would send my. I it it would be semi good. It wouldn't be yeah. any. It wouldn't be great. But it'd be good. But I think that men should really know and understand a woman's body language and not think that you can have your same smackdown on every woman. Like, oh, it may have made this one this woman right here come. But her 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 uterus or something. Give me wait, I ain't gonna wear her vag- vagina uh, canal or something. I don't know. Something can be. I actually, different. you know what's crazy no. though? Like, 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 like the older that I got and the more experience that the more experience that I started to get, I actually like seeing a woman get hers. I'm telling you, I you feel like I, and then and I like, feel like, a like, woman... like you know, you know what I you know what another thing I do like. I like the the like I for some reason I'm starting to like talking a woman through her nut. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to I do. Li- I like I wasn't doing that at first. <laughs> but I, okay, so you said like up until what age? So what age did you start? Because remember, you've been having sex since you was 15. So what age did you actually start? Feeling like that, you just really need to care about pleasing a woman. Uh, it was no specific age. It was all about the, the 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 person that I ended up coming across or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, it all it takes is that one person to get your reality check. So it she a, critiqued your sex, and right? It ain't really like a it, it, right. It ain't a, it ain't an age thing. At some point, you are gonna come across someone who's going to give you a reality check about something so that's what it was all about for me can't remember who i can't remember i actually can't even remember what age well other than the girl that in the 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 first girl that told me about were you in your 20s or were you in your 30s i know that you in your you're in your most likely in my 20s in my 20s in my 20s for sure okay early 20s for sure look look don't get up no I no, know what no, I'm doing no, now. No, I'm, I'm just, just saying. I've been doing for 10 years now. I, I, I'm, just, I'm just saying for sure in my 20s because right now 
anything 30 and above, you supposed to know what the fuck is going on. I, mm, you suppose keep rem, listen to what I said. You did say suppose. You, you supposed to know under you supposed to understand sex by the time you're in your 30s. You're supposed to understand sex and or be educated on it and understand it. And the reason why I say that is because look how fucking grown you are. You're supposed to That's understand. Not- you're supposed to understand that, yeah, like y'all both. To, first of all, when we both having sex, you're having sex to please the woman first. Before but they listen, tell them. you got women out here that still don't know what they want or what they like due to the fact of you. Listen, what I you cannot mean, wait. When, when it comes to sex, in, what you mean? I cannot wait to glow in the dark podcast sex podcast come out because <laughs> no for real because this is going to this this is going to be the conversation because it's some women out here that really don't know what they like because it can be them being in a long term relationship <clears throat> I know like like wait I, I hate to use my homegirl as an example but I got a homegirl that's been with the same man since she since she lost her virginity, right? Mm-hmm. So like, I, it used to be me that used to make her want to try to come out the box. Like, you need to do this, you need to do that. But if she's not, you know what I'm saying? If her partner is probably, you know what I'm saying? Or from my understanding, her partner was telling her that this is something that she needs to do. But she was so so shy with her own body. That you don't know what to, you know what I'm saying? Like, how are you going to know what you like if you're not out here? It's basically kind of sort of like experiencing on yourself. That's like, I know I'm getting ready to talk too much, y'all. But listen, this about to be my spill right here, okay? And then we're going to get it wrapped up a little bit. Here's my spill. That's like you, right? And you know, we, you have a penis and you know what you like if a woman would want to do what she want to do you know how you want your to be healed you know how you want it to be squeezed on and all of that like suck. you know like- yeah yeah <laughs> suck, suck you get what i'm saying and you got women out here that don't don't know if they like for their clitoris to be sucked on or if they want the whole mouth or if they, you know what I'm saying, if they want a penis with the hook or if they don't, they don't know this stuff about themselves because sometimes some women don't take the time to explore themselves. Now, if you messing with women that do know what they like, you're going to mess with women that don't always want the same thing. So this is what I'm telling you. You can't bring your same stamina into the you can't bring that same thing all the time into the bedroom you gotta know from from the conversation that you may have with this woman if it's a text conversation or on the phone and you're talking to her and you you know what i'm saying you're asking questions don't be afraid to ask her what the fuck she like during sex right. like what how do you like to be pleased do you like do you like toys in the bedroom or do you like this or do you like that so when you come and you like, oh, you doing everything that she said she liked. But also don't forget to read that body language. The yeah. body language is what's going to get you because I can be getting oral and I can just be laying there. And you and I can do a whole fake ass moan. Right. But if I ain't squirming or doing none of that, you ain't doing nothing. You know, real quick in reply to what you said. And, and I'm gonna close out this. These, these my this my closing comments, right? <laughs> but that's the that's the funny thing about sex because everyone enjoys sex the way that they enjoy sex. So when they come across somebody who enjoys sex, the opposite way of they enjoy sex, then is then there's a very good chance there will be a complication because I might like to deliver aggressively. You may like uh, slow, passionate sex. I may not be used to giving slow, passionate sex. So, but that's isn't that something? But is mm, but isn't that something that you find out during conversation? See, this is what I'm saying. This is that's why I ask. This is why I ask. 
in regards, do you understand a woman's body language during a conversation in sex? Because that conversation is going to tell you what she like. Don't be afraid. I am a whole woman, right? If you're going to talk to me about sex, ask me what I like. Ask me all of this and that and a third. Shit, one, one minute I might like this. And then, you know what I'm saying? We may be fucking around for a little minute. I'd be like, oh, we need to try this. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. you got to understand. Oh, you like, oh, well, if she come to you like, oh, yeah, I want you to choke me while I call you Big Daddy. You're going to be like, hell yeah, because that's what you like. You like being aggressive. But if she come to you and be like, mm, I want to listen to slow jams and I just want you to rock my body to the beat of the slow jams. You're going to have to do that. You're going to have to find a rhythm. <laughs> You're going to have to make your own playlist so therefore you can keep up so, with some of your rhythm. So but you're going to have to be slow at it. I got one question. I got one question. What you going to do when you come across that dude where you say you like it slow and passionate? Oh, I like to give head real slow and uh, real... I like to take my time on the dick, all that shit. What if you what if you said all of that? But then the dude say, Man, I like that wet, sloppy, aggressive, deep throat my dick, do the two hand <laughs> twist, do the two hand <laughs> twist, do all of that. What if he tell you that? Then where's the compromise in that? How how would you compromise with a dude that say, Man, I I'm like a, my I'm shit a, like if, straight off some porn star shit? If I like him. You're going to do it. And there you go. That's what I want to hear, girl. If That's I like I him, I'm going to I'm gonna make sure that I deliver. Why wouldn't I? That's what I want to hear. A am I trying to get from right here to up here? That's what the fuck I'm trying to do. That's what you better want to do. Shit. Shit. <laughs> Why would I be like, no, because you're going to have to do what I like for you to do. Like, no, like, okay, so that's what you want. Okay, maybe I need to watch a little clips or whatever. See how they be thrown in and spitting on it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have to teach myself, period. I'm not going to sit up here and play, especially if I like the dude. I'm not going to sit up here and play around. If you tell me what you like and I'm telling you what you like, if you're delivering to me, I, I promise you I'm going to deliver to you. Right. Period. Yeah, you, you and that's my it. spiel. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's her spiel, y'all. That's her spiel. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, uh, before we do head out, Tim, I do want to thank you so, 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 so much for coming through and chopping it up with me, your girl Glow. And before no we do head out, can you please tell the people where they can find you at? Y'all can go find me on Real Talk with Tim Podcast on Instagram, on Twitter, RTWT Podcast, on TikTok, Real Talk with Tim Podcast. Uh, what else? Oh, go on YouTube, Real Talk with Tim Podcast. Go like and subscribe. Well, go subscribe to the channel and hit the like button on whatever video you see on there. Uh, right now, I'm currently, like I said, season six about to end. And uh, we about to start with season seven on February the third, and uh, yeah, that's how you find me, y'all. That's how you find him. Okay, yeah. but y'all already know the information is going to be available to y'all. And again, Tim, thank you so much for coming through. And for those that are out there listening to conversations with Glow Radio Show, I do want to thank y'all so much for tuning in and supporting me, your girl Glow, and allowing for me to continue to keep on having these dope conversations. But y'all already know where y'all can catch me at in the meantime, between time. Holla at your girl. Peace out.